Hey, Russ with Fine Pigtails. Today we're going to do a deep pin repin video on uh, one of our more common connectors. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll get started. So let's go ahead and do a uh, deep pin repin of L64A2. I'm sure y'all probably recognize this. This uh, this bad boy is very common on uh, Chrysler vehicles for the side marker. Uh, you're going to see it on some GM vehicles for different things, lamps, sensors, ambient temp a lot, um, things like that but the most common will be side marker on Chrysler's. So, and just a heads up, that doesn't mean all Chrysler's, but a lot of them. You can check findpigtails.com, our website, of course, and, and put in your VIN number, your year, make, model. We're gonna populate all the more common connectors. Uh, if it's something you don't see, you can always chat with us, but this one, you're gonna see a lot. And what you'll notice probably, I'm sure, is that you've got that purple lock on there what that little slide lock is, is that is actually holding the pins in. So on this one, we do have, and let me see if I can show you here. Let it focus. But we have the catches are built into the terminals. So just down inside of there, there's a little spring catch. See, it might not focus, but we've got, there's a spring catch right on the top. So these are actually pretty easy. All you have to do, we're not gonna take this all the way out. I typically just slide it over a little bit. And again, it's always kind of funny to try to do this and show you at the same time, but lift it up just a little bit. There's actually a detent. You might be able to see it right here, but it just goes right up to that detent. Let me see, I need to go a little bit more, sorry. And it does need to be just in that, in that position right there. So let me make sure we are good. Any further one way or the other, if not fully removed, then it might actually hinder your removing of at least the, the furthest or closest pin to the um, to the catch, sorry. But uh, so once it's in that position, in that secondary detent, we're gonna just push down on that terminal. I'm basically pushing that spring catch in. Once it starts to go, you can let up and that wire comes right out. So I'm gonna wrap my hand around it so I can grab it a little easier and show you here. I can feel that I'm pushing that down, so that catch is being pressed down, and we just pop it right out. Some connectors, and you shouldn't have to pull it real hard. If you do, then stop, reset, push the pin forward like I always say, and uh, retry it. But um, on these, sometimes they'll get caught in that channel just right where the purple piece is. So on other style connectors, these aren't bad, but sometimes it gets caught. So you may have to say you press it down in the open hole that's made for it. So I'm pushing that, that catch down. I get it to slide back. I've already pulled the screwdriver away, of course, but there's another opening and it'll actually, the spring will pop back up and get caught there. So sometimes you got to push that down again. But uh, that's it on L6482 to, to remove the wires. Again, pretty easy. Putting them back in, like always, they pretty much only go in one way. I try it sideways, won't go. I can try it upside down won't go, turn it with the spring catch oriented up. Technically everything's upside down right now, but we'll just say up. This is the bottom of the connector, by the way. This part where the catch is is always top, front and back, just as a heads up. So looking at the bottom with the bottom facing up, terminal with the, the spring catch up, because of course we know that it rides right into that hole. We'll slide our wires in probably can't hear that on camera, but I heard it lock. There is also a, uh, and this is not on all terminals, it's gonna be incredibly hard to see, but there is a little guide on the side of this thing. Let me try to roll it. You can see it's sticking up just a little bit right there. So that actually will only let it go in one direction. And also what that does, um, again, just kind of allow you to orient it correctly. But what it does is it can make it kind of a pain. So on a lot of terminals, if it's just tilted a little bit, it will go in and then it'll straighten itself out. With these, it can kind of fight you if it's not in the right position, um, or if it's a cheaper terminal, something like that on a cheaper connector, you, you may have a nightmare of a time trying to get them in because everything can be a little off. The seals can be off the way the crimps are. With ours, using all OEM or, or upgraded from OEM uh, parts, you're gonna, you shouldn't have any trouble with ours, except for yes, if it's turned you know, 30 degrees out, then that thing won't go in at all. Some will kind of go in, like I said, and then straighten itself out. Whereas these, you do have to have them oriented pretty, pretty straight. Um, but again, pretty easy. You can't really plug it in incorrectly, so you don't have to worry about flipping it the wrong way. Um, once you've put those in though, just like I did, you push that catch in, it's locked. 
So that was a D-pin repin of L64A2.